the forest. A safe haven for some, and the perfect hunting ground for others. The world's forests conceal unique and dangerous creatures. Leaves camouflage venomous predators. Large animals dominate with lethal power. And smaller animals are armed with weapons we rarely see before we feel. Enter the dangerous world of the forest's deadliest animals. Forests cover almost one-third of our planet's total land area. And we share a special relationship with these complex ecosystems. Throughout the world, forests purify over half of rainwater runoff, providing us with life-giving fresh water. And more than one billion people rely solely on the forest for their livelihoods. It also sustains life for some of the most ingenious predators on Earth. Two creatures are masters of their domains, each hunting with a different strategy. One chases down prey in a coordinated group. The other hunts alone. It's one of our closest relatives, sharing more than 98% of our genes. The chimpanzee. Chimps grow over a meter tall and weigh almost 60 kilograms. Their interactions mirror many of our own. Tenderness, cooperation, even sorrow. But aggression is also an integral and occasionally lethal part of chimp society. They live in social family groups dominated by the alpha male. It's a strict hierarchy. Usually, each chimp abides by its place. But when the leader is challenged, he reacts with ferocity. Five times more powerful than a human, the chimp pummels his rival, inflicting fatal blows. They're armed with canines twice the size of ours. These dagger-like teeth rip through meat. Chimpanzees live in Africa's forests from Senegal in the west, stretching along the Atlantic coast to Cameroon, and as far east as Tanzania. These plentiful forests provide chimps with a diet of over 300 different items, like fruits, leaves, and seeds. but they also actively hunt, seeking out their favorite prey, other primates. The spoils are distributed by rank, with dominant members eating first. It's a lesson that a young chimp learns quickly. But the majority of its learning comes from its mother. For five years, the two are virtually inseparable. When poachers break this bond prematurely, it can scar a young chimp for its entire life, teaching chimps to fear humans and occasionally responding with aggression. An 
And while attacks on humans are rare, chimps have fared far worse. In the past century, poaching and habitat loss have reduced their population by an estimated one and a half million. Today, there are as few as 200,000 chimps hunting in Africa's jungles. On the other side of the world, in the forests of North and South America, one lone hunter reigns. And humans living and working near this powerful animal occasionally find themselves at risk. Controls the forest with a lethal combination of stealth and strength. When hunting, it positions itself near its target, planning its attack without being seen. Fully grown, the mountain lion may weigh up to 90 kilograms. It's armed with claws over two and a half centimeters long, and it keeps them razor sharp. It preys on small mammals and birds, but it can also take down larger animals like this wild boar. The mountain lion patrols a range of over 750 square kilometers covering over 16 kilometers in a day. Running at bursts of speed of over 60 kilometers per hour. Powerful hind legs launch it almost 14 meters in a single bound. And five and a half meters high, almost the height of a two-story building. This highly adaptive cat roams many different types of forests. From British Columbia in Canada through the Western United States, as well as a small population in Florida, and continuing to the tip of South America. Its long tail acts like a tightrope walker's pole, giving it added balance and control when maneuvering in perilous mountain terrain. A silent stalker, the mountain lion usually lies in wait for prey to cross its path. But when winter sets in, food can become scarce, and the mountain lion must work harder to survive. It can no longer wait in ambush. Instead, it must chase down its meal. For small animals like this snowshoe hare, the kill is quick. A single bite to the back of the neck snaps the spine. Once the cat has had its fill, it will stash the remains of larger prey, burying the carcass under debris on the forest floor and returning to feed again under the cover of night. Two formidable hunters, the chimpanzee ruling the jungle in an organized army, and the mountain lion, a solo hunter springing from the forest. The forests of the world harbor lethal creatures including serpents. For people living in remote areas of Africa, a day of play can hold hidden dangers. 
gloves may protect against the sharp thorns of the acacia tree. But they are not the only threat. One of the world's most deadly snakes hunts in these branches. The boomslang. Its potent hemotoxic venom causes headaches and nausea. If left untreated, massive internal bleeding leads to death. The boom slang spends most of its life in trees. Found in Africa's arid forests south of the Sahara Desert, from Guinea in the west to Somalia in the east, and stretching to South Africa. Boomslangs also live on many of the islands off Africa's southeast coast. Its color adaptations ideally camouflage the snake in its dry forest environment. Adult females are usually brown, blending into branches. while males are brighter colors, like green, keeping them concealed among leaves. When ambush hunting, it waits patiently for one of its favorite meals, like this chameleon, to come within reach. Venom runs down grooves on the snake's small, rear-facing fangs. A large meal like this can last the boom slang for weeks. When the snake sets out to feed again, it may change location, often traveling quickly on the ground from tree to tree. The coarse edged scales on its stomach provide grip, allowing the boom slang to climb straight up. Once hidden among the branches, the almost two meter long serpent begins its vigil again. Vision is the boom slang's most effective hunting sense. Like many tree dwelling snakes, it uses stereoscopic or three dimensional vision to seek out prey. An ability that seems more human than serpent. Like us, the boom slang's eyes sit close to each other in the front of the head. Each eye focuses on an object at a slightly different angle, picking up different visual information. The brain processes this information, calculating the distance to the object. Growing to the length of a surfboard, the boom slang appears even larger when threatened. By inflating its neck with air, the snake issues a warning to intruders. If this spectacle doesn't deter the attacker, the boom slang will strike. But deadly tree-dwelling snakes don't just kill with venom. One uses sheer strength and once in the coils of this giant, escape is not an option. The boa constrictor. One of the largest snakes on the planet. It stretches almost four meters long and weighs over 25 kilograms and it's fast. This highly adaptive serpent has the most varied habitat of all the world's boa species. From grassy plains to dense tropical rainforests, the boa constrictor lives as far north as subtropical Mexico and south to Argentina. It's both terrestrial, occupying hollow logs and abandoned burrows, and arboreal, living in the trees. 
the snake's coloring and markings vary greatly to blend into these different environments. Concealed in its surroundings, this massive serpent never stops growing throughout its 20-year lifespan. During the day, it sleeps. Clear scales cover its eyes, giving the appearance that the boa constrictor is awake. At night, the hunt begins. The boa waits inconspicuously in leaf litter. Heat-sensitive scales above the upper lip pinpoint the location of warm-blooded prey. strike is lightning fast. Trapped in the snake's hold, death comes slowly. Each time the mouse exhales, the boa squeezes tighter until the mouse can no longer breathe. 100 sharp rear angle teeth line the snake's vice-like jaws. They pull the mouse further into the snake's mouth. Super elastic jaw ligaments stretch, allowing the snake to swallow animals wider than itself. The boa constrictor takes its time digesting the rodent. Its next meal may be weeks away. But ground-dwelling animals like this mouse must stay alert on the forest floor. Here, the largest viper in the world lies in wait. It's armed with the longest fangs in the serpent kingdom. The Gaboon Viper. Color adaptations make it undetectable on the forest floor where it can wait, hidden for hours. But the scent of prey puts the Viper on high alert. In one sudden motion, the Gaboon strikes. Hollow fangs inject venom directly into the rodent. A final attempt to escape proves futile. Fast-acting hemotoxins destroy blood cells, causing uncontrolled internal bleeding, leading to death. Fangs up to five centimeters long slowly walk the rodent into the snake's mouth. Gaboon vipers hunt in Africa's southern rainforests, from Guinea to Sudan, and south to Zambia. They're also found in pockets on the east coast of Kenya, Mozambique, and South Africa. A step in the wrong direction can prove fatal. If surprised, the gaboon may strike. But despite its deadly abilities, the gaboon is not the most toxic serpent in the forest. That distinction goes to a smaller snake, one of the most lethal in the world. The Malayan Crate. This meter-long snake lives in dense tropical rainforests throughout Southeast Asia from northern Vietnam through Malaysia to Indonesia. 
Drop for drop, the crate's venom is many times more toxic than its better known cousin, the cobra. Rear-facing fangs in the upper jaw are small, almost indistinguishable. For these tiny needles to puncture flesh and allow venom to enter prey's bloodstream, the crate strikes and latches on. The snake appears to chew in its venom. It's one of the most powerful neurotoxins on the planet, and paralysis is almost immediate. For humans, the crate's venom takes longer to ravage the body, but it may still deliver the same outcome. The crate strike is usually painless and leaves little or no signs of damage to the skin. Many victims are unaware they've been bitten and don't seek treatment. And even with antivenom, survival is not guaranteed. The Malayan crate belongs to a family of snakes that bites tens of thousands every year, and only half ever survive. They're some of the most successful predators in the forest. Dangerous serpents armed with deadly poison and powerful bodies. The Earth's forests are home to over 50 million different creatures, including two elusive and stealthy hunters. The leopard. Primarily nocturnal, it prefers hunting under the cover of darkness. Armed with night vision, six times better than ours, the cat locks in on these impalas. Weighing up to 70 kilograms, it's a natural athlete. Short, powerful limbs launch the cat up to 60 kilometers per hour, leaping a distance more than six meters toward its target. Landing a kill requires a well-honed hunting strategy. When attacking large prey from the front, the aim is the throat, crushing the windpipe. But when taking down smaller creatures from behind, the neck is the target. A quick break renders prey immobile. It's the strongest climber of all great cats, effortlessly ascending trees, even with large kill in its mouth. Here, the leopard's meal is protected from other forest carnivores, and the cat can dine at its leisure. Although found in small areas of Tunisia and Morocco, leopards live primarily in southern Africa, from Senegal to Somalia. They're also found in Asia, from the Suez Canal in the west to China in the east, and as far south as Thailand. One of the leopard's habitats in this vast range is the dense rainforest, where the cat's coat is often darker. It's an adaptation caused by melanism, a genetic mutation creating an excess of black pigment. The darker coat keeps the leopard concealed in the shadowy forest.
Its adaptations have enabled the leopard to live in many different forest environments. But another cat-like animal can only be found in one corner of the world. The forests of Madagascar. The island's top predator is a highly skilled hunter and one of the most elusive creatures in the world. The Fusa. Its body and tail stretch almost two full meters in length and it weighs over 11 kilograms. It preys on almost any creature it can get its claws on. A survival adaptation that has earned the Fusa an exaggerated reputation for savagery and destruction. The Fusa only lives on the island of Madagascar, a country located 400 kilometers off Africa's southeast coast. The very terrain of Madagascar is home to an estimated 200,000 plant and animal species three quarters of which exist nowhere else on Earth. Including the black and white ruffed lemur, one of the Fusa's favorite meals. This adept tree climbing primate isn't easy to catch, even for a super predator. The Fusa's extremely flexible spine uncoils, launching it from the ground. Muscular legs power the Fusa straight up. Its toes are reversed from ours, with the biggest ones on the outside of its paws. This, along with large pads, give the Fusa a stronger grip on thick tree trunks. During the chase, the Fusa uses its long tail for balance keeping the lemur within striking distance. But the lemur flees to high, small branches where the heavier fusa can't follow. The lemur makes a quick escape. This time, Madagascar's largest predator bows out without a meal. Two top carnivores, the Fusa and the Leopard, both rule their domain with stealth and power. The world's forests harbor tiny carnivores with voracious appetites. When hunting, some make their presence well known while others hide silently in wait. It strikes without warning, <laughs> inflicting an agonizing sting. The bulldog ant. It can be small as a fingernail or up to two and a half centimeters. With a large body, long legs, and a venom-laced stinger, it looks like a wingless wasp. The resemblance to its flying ancestor is not coincidental. Ants evolved from wasp-like creatures some 140 million years ago. Nearly 90 different species of bulldog ant thrive in scattered populations throughout Australia, Tasmania, and New Caledonia. At home in densely populated urban areas, as well as the forest. This tenacious ant can cause multiple wounds, injecting one of the most powerful venoms in the insect world. It's a convincing deterrent for those who accidentally disturb its nest. For humans allergic to its venom, this tiny foe can be a killer. The 
bulldog ant also uses its stinger to land a meal. This self-reliant predator seeks out insects with its acute eyesight. Repeated stings inject enzymes that attack and destroy blood cells, sending prey into shock and killing it within seconds. Then the ant transports its prize back to the nest to be shared among the colony. Once the meal is delivered, the bulldog ant emerges to hunt again, scouring the ground in search of its next prey. The forest floor is also the hunting ground for another venomous predator, 20 times the size of the bulldog ant. It's the largest spider in the world, spanning the size of a dinner plate. An arachnid that comes in many colors, but only one size. The Goliath bird-eating spider. It lives in South America's northern rainforests, from Venezuela east to French Guiana and south into Brazil. Super sensitive hairs cover the Goliath's legs, picking up vibrations in the air created by movement from prey. Fangs up to two and a half centimeters long break through flesh, injecting a neurotoxic venom. It's a fatal bite. In the safety of its burrow, the Goliath bird eater consumes its meal. It has no teeth to tear or chew. Instead, it regurgitates digestive juices onto its victim, breaking down soft tissue turning prey into liquid and sucking the carcass dry. When it's finished, only bones, skin, and fur remain. The same fangs that kill prey are large enough to break through human skin. But to humans, its venom is relatively non-toxic. A bite will cause mild discomfort and swelling for a few hours, but it will only kill if the victim is allergic or if the wound becomes infected. In most cases, the spider issues a series of warnings before it strikes, rearing up on its hind legs, displaying its imposing size. It also rubs the hairs on its legs together, emitting a hissing noise that can be heard up to four and a half meters away. When the spider releases these barbed hairs, they can cause severe discomfort to the skin. But the Goliath bird-eating spider has several natural enemies, including one unusual creature a voracious carnivore that boldly attacks anything in its path. It's the largest of its kind, reaching over 30 centimeters in length. But despite its size, this creature often goes undetected. giant centipede. Its flat body is divided into over 20 well-marked segments, protected by an armor-like shell and equipped with a set of legs. 
including one set that injects a lethal toxin. Muscles in its body squeeze venom from poison glands, pumping it through the fangs and into prey. Nine of the centipede segments have small openings called spiracles, which enable it to breathe. But with so many breathing holes, the centipede is prone to dehydration and must spend most of its life in human environments. Like the tropical and subtropical forests in the north of South America, from Colombia in the west along the coast to Suriname in the east. Here it hides beneath the forest floor, emerging only to hunt. It's a voracious carnivore built for speed. When tracking down prey, the centipede expertly navigates over varied terrain. Even climbing up into the foliage, where it stalks tree-dwelling prey like lizards. It often has more success feeding on small creatures like insects and toads. The centipede is armed with spiny hooks on its rear legs, which it uses to defend against intruders. But the centipede's modified front legs are its most feared weapons razor-sharp fangs capable of injecting a lethal toxin. Making the giant centipede an effective killer. They are smaller than many forest hunters, but no less lethal. Three deadly creatures emerging from underground to do battle. The forest is home to an array of amazing animals. With ingenious methods to hunt and defend. But one animal reigns above all others. He just came right at me. You just can't believe that this thing is happening to you. I thought I remember seeing him going down and biting my side. A life and death struggle with one of the forest's largest predators, the American black bear. An omnivore with an indiscriminate appetite, feeding on anything from fish to berries. Mammals, even carrion, In the fall, black bears need to pack on weight before hibernation. During this time, the bear consumes 20,000 calories a day and can become especially aggressive when surprised. For Anthony Blasioli, one September bike ride almost cost him his life. Anthony often rides the forest trails in a popular park. His two dogs are his constant companions. I think about an hour into the ride, just going along, the dogs usually are ahead of me. And um, my young female, she barked twice, but then she was gone. 
The dog's bark alerts Anthony to someone or something farther along on the trail. And so the trails are tight, and so what you can meet there are other hikers, other bikers. This well-used recreation area is also bear territory. As we encroach further into their habitat, the chance for encounter increases. Black bears roam from the easternmost part of North America through much of Canada, the United States, and northern Mexico, all the way to the Pacific Northwest, including Washington State, where Anthony Blasioli is about to encounter the unthinkable. With his dogs ahead of him, out of sight and barking, Anthony dismounts, expecting to see another park user. So I usually yield to most of them because I don't know what's going to happen. You know, encountering other dogs and other people, you always have a little chat with them. Or horses, I always heal the dogs away from the horses and um, make sure the horse is okay and everything to go by. But today, everything is not okay. All of a sudden, the bear just came, came right at me. Before he can even react, the bear completely overpowers him. And the bear came at me so fast, right over the bike, right over at me, and I just fell right into the bushes here. And then he just jumped right on me. The black bear can run almost 50 kilometers per hour, faster than an Olympic sprinter. It can stand almost two meters tall and weigh in at over 250 kilograms. It's armed with a keen sense of smell, several times greater than a bloodhound, detecting prey over a kilometer and a half away. But the black bear also relies on its hearing. Believed to be more than twice as sensitive as a human's, it picks up sound in all directions and farther away than the bear can see in the dense forest. The bear may have sensed Anthony well before he had any idea of its presence. A lot of things just get blocked out. I didn't smell anything, I didn't hear anything. Claws over five centimeters long are ideal for digging, but they can also pin down prey. Its canine teeth are over two and a half centimeters long and designed to puncture flesh and rip meat off bones. When he bit into my shoulder, he bit off the top of my deltoid. I don't remember when he bit my ear off. I thought I remember seeing him going down and biting my side. It was a force that was just so strong. You just can't believe that this thing is happening to you, you know, because I, I couldn't get him off. The bear won't relent. At one point I remember being upside down. I started kicking him at his face, I remember, and I knew I wasn't getting away. I couldn't get away. He was very powerful. Trapped under a massive creature, death is the only outcome running through Anthony's mind. It just comes in a blink of an eye. You realize you're gonna die. But then something inexplicable happens. I just said something like, oh God, I don't wanna die today. But it seemed like that's all it took because the bear jumped off me pretty much after I said that. The attack stops as suddenly as it began. Anthony struggles to remain conscious. I didn't feel anything, because at that point, like the ear must have been gone, my shoulder was hanging out. Alone, severely wounded, and losing a lot of blood, it's up to Anthony to save his own life. Nobody was around, you're, you're close to a road, you can hear the cars, but there was nobody there to help me. The bear still looms and slowly walks back toward Anthony. Using all his strength and willpower, he gets to his feet. The bear was on his way back towards me. I could see him start coming at me, but then I, I just got on the bike and went the opposite direction. Somehow, he manages to ride away from the bear. 
I knew I wasn't in good shape to stop and turn around and look. I didn't, I just knew I had to keep going on the trail. At the trailhead, he encounters help. Anthony's left shoulder is marred so badly that doctors fear they may need to amputate. But luckily, they were able to save his arm. So this is the shoulder that he, that he took off. He kind of bit all over it, took off the top of it. The attack has left him with physical and psychological scars. It takes a while, it took a while to get over that feeling because I, that's the memories of that I have of the bear on top of me. So now I am a lot more apprehensive about going in there. I'm more aware there's a, a certain amount of risk. Some people say it's pretty low, but you know, it's still there, and I experienced it, and uh, it's, can't not ever forget that. They are 12 of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Armed with power. Deadly venom and blending seamlessly into their mysterious world. They are the forest's deadliest animals. 